Today we're going to talk a little bit about the choices you have when it comes to automotive primers and try to simplify something that has become way too complicated. First, and most importantly, they all work. They all work fine if used properly, no matter what you hear on the internet. They're all DTM, or in other words, can be applied directly to bare metal and then painted with or without sanding. And last, they all have some degree of corrosion protection, which actually is not that important because that's the paint's job. You'll often hear scary stories of metal rusting as soon as you remove the paint. I've had this crate of scrap steel since 2003 sitting on a cement floor. And you can see, yeah, there's some, there's some pieces that have rusted a bit, but this is, this is what they look like. They've been on the cement floor for like 20 years. For years and years, the only choice you had was lacquer primer. It could be the only can of primer in the shop. It can be sprayed thick for block sanding, thin for finish sanding, and even real thin for touch-up just before painting. It dries fast, builds thickness fast, and is 1K. In other words, doesn't need an activator. You can throw the used portion or unused portion back in the can so it actually saves you a lot of money. It's good to remember that lacquer primer was the only choice for like 50 years. It worked just fine if you didn't try to bury poor body work and sand scratches with it. Polyester primer showed up around the 80s because like lacquer primer it is a primer surfacer that can be block sanded but can be sprayed super thick almost like a layer of filler. No matter what you hear it works great if used right and can really help you out if you have trouble getting your body work straight. It is 2K though, so you'll have to throw out the unused portion. You can thin it with acetone or lacquer thinner. Finally, today your most common choices for primers are urethane primer surfacer and epoxy primer, which is not a surfacer. In other words, it can't build thickness for block sanding. Urethane primer works great, sands easy, dries fast, builds good thickness for block sanding, in other words it's a primer surfacer, can be the only primer in your shop, like lacquer primer, it can be used for every step of the auto body repair process, but it is 2K, so you'll have to throw out the unused portion. Epoxy primer is great if you want to just prime something and paint it. Again, it's not a primer surfacer and doesn't sand very easily. Its claim to fame is corrosion protection and adhesion qualities, but you'll never have adhesion issues with any type of primer if used correctly. Maybe if you aren't going to paint something for a while and leave the car outside or in the elements, this might be a good choice. But again, paint is your best choice when it comes to corrosion protection. When you boil it down, you basically have two choices when it comes to what primer to use in your shop. Lacquer primer surfacer and urethane primer surfacer. Both are direct to metal. They both work excellent. They're both primer surfacers. They can both be used for everything. In other words, sprayed thick for blocking, thinner for finish sanding, and even thinner for touch-up. The only difference is the urethane primer surfacer has an activator and the unused portion has to be tossed. This guy is 1K and you can throw the unused portion back in the can. In review, and to really try to simplify things, this guy can be the only can of primer in your shop. This guy can be the only can of primer that you use in your shop. This is a specialty primer and this is a specialty primer. You'll hear a lot of confusing things on TV, in magazines, and on the internet. But choosing a primer for your body work is easy. Make sure it's direct to metal. Make sure it's a primer surfacer. And remember, lacquer primer is thinned with lacquer thinner. Urethane primer 
is thinned or reduced with urethane reducer. I hope you enjoyed this brief video on simplifying primer choices. And if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.